Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over the Guard Viewer app. Um, my app is right here. If you don't have it, go to your Play or App Store and download Guard Viewer. Okay, so let's open up the app. When you first open it up, you're going to get to this screen. And what you got to do is click the top left three bar-like looking icons. And at the top where it says Me, Log In, you're going to click on there. Um, you're going to click Log In, Sign Up. If you do not have an account yet, you're going to click the Sign Up at the bottom left and follow the instructions. However, I already have an account for this demo, so I'm going to enter in my login, agree to the service terms, and click Login. Okay, once you're at the main page here, at the top left, we're going to click those three bar-like looking icons again. We're going to go to Live View. Um, and now we got to add in our cameras. You only have to do this once. After you do this, when you open up the app, your cameras will automatically load. So to do that, at the top right, you're going to see two camera-like looking icons with a plus. Click that. I'm going to click our device. And we're going to click our cameras. I just want camera two and three for this demo purpose. However, you might have four cameras, then select all four. If you have eight, select all eight. And then at the bottom where it says start live view two, press that. Okay, now we have our cameras loaded. So if I go to at the bottom where it says images and you see one, I'm going to click that and we can change it to four. If you have four, if you have eight, select eight. Now we have our cameras loaded. Um, so I'm going to go back to one to keep this simple. Okay, here's my one camera. Now if I turn my phone sideways, um, what I can do is I can put my fingers together and pull them apart on the screen to digitally zoom in and you can move around and then put them apart and pull them together to zoom back out. You can see all the controls that are showing up on the left, the right and the top. So you can control everything from right in full screen mode. However, I'm going to go back to regular screen and go over these options with you. So you have snapshot to take a snapshot. When you press that, you can click record to start recording video footage. And then when you're done your recording, press it again and it'll save a file. Um, images we went over already to change the split screen view. Quality, I'm in HD. If it's choppy or I don't have a good connection, I can change that to a lower quality to have a more fluent stream. And you got two-way audio if you have microphone or a speaker on your camera. This one does have audio. It has a microphone, but not a speaker. I'm not going to click that because I need my voice over this video right now. And then uh, you're going to see even more to the bottom. You're going to see device config. We can click that. It's going to bring up my camera options. So we can go to image, smart illumination. So for this camera, I have dual light enabled and dual light means that you use regular infrared at night. However, when a vehicle or human is detected, um, it'll shine the spotlight, the white light and provide a full color image and then kind of warn off the, the intruders that say, hey, you're being watched. Um, however, if I want the white light on all night, I can change it to white light mode and that will leave the spotlight on all night long and illuminate your property all night or infrared for no white light illumination so it just remains um, invisible to the human eye. Okay, let's go back and back. And you're going to see change device name. We can go there and this is where you custom name your camera. If you want to name it front door, side of house, uh, whatever you want to name it, you can change that there. Um, general detection. Um, Motion detection, you'll see this is for regular motion detection. Um, if we go to the detection area, you're going to see I have this turned off because I don't want to detect anything but humans or vehicles. However, you know, if you want um, to detect things like, um, you know, squirrels or birds or whatever running through, you can select your grid area here and select which areas you want to detect motion on and record to. Um, but I don't want any of that, so I'm going to erase and remove this whole area like that. And we can get out of here. 
Um, sensitivity, you can adjust that if it's too high for you. You can adjust it to medium or low. Detection time, we have all day. Um, you can change that. So the regular detection mode is only from a certain time of the day to a certain time of the day um, by going in here and going to custom. However, I do not want to do that. Alarm snapshot, if you want to take a snapshot um, of an alarm that the ca camera generates. Okay, the other thing we can go over is um, storage at the bottom. We can click that there. You're going to see record schedule. This is where you'd put in the recording type and the recording time to adjust when you want to record. I have it set up for all record types and every day, all day, because I do not want to miss anything. Okay, I'll get out of here. Um, we'll go all the way back, and then you're going to see image settings. This is where you can adjust the brightness, saturation, contrast. You can rotate the image. You got two-day noise reduction and sharpness um, to do all sorts of tweaking for your camera if it's not the way you like it. Um, PTZ, if you click that, that is if you have a motorized camera. You can control the motors in your camera to pan your property 360 degrees or tilt it 90 degrees. Um, I'm going to keep, uh, this is not a motorized camera, so I'm going to skip past this. Um, alarm out, that is if you have a um, siren or a uh, strobe um, tied into your camera. So you can click that and set off the siren or strobe or whatnot. Okay, so that's it for the live view. Let's go into playback. I'm going to go here. And um, let's just go to one screen to keep this simple. And I'm going to add my camera I want. So let's go to camera two. And let's go to yesterday and go OK. So this is going to pull up the earliest footage of what it has. And you can see it there on the graph. Now, if I want to, you can see that green box. He's picking up um, the human. Um, we have human detection only enabled for this camera because those vehicles in the back are always parked there. And we don't want this triggering recording all the time for nothing when we already know those cars are going to be there. So this we set to human detection only. So when a human pulls up, it starts recording and it will send you an alert message. Um, now we can do the same things as before. You can take a snapshot here. You can uh, record uh, here and you can hit the record again to stop recording and save your video. Um, you can change the speed and the quality. We can also digitally zoom in even in playback. Um, and this graph here, we can enlarge this. So we, we get right to a big part of it there. Um, now we can control that video like that and rewind if we want by sliding our thumb on this hour graph. And if we keep our fingers apart and pull them together, you see how that graph gets smaller. And now I can navigate to other motion areas way easier. And we'll just stick to this one for now because I don't know what is on the recordings there. Okay, so that's it for this one. So say now I want to see when the vehicle pulled up. Um, let's go to all close. And we're going to add in the, the camera three. Okay, so press the plus like looking icon in the center, my device, and hit camera three. Go to yesterday, okay. And now it's gonna show this vehicle pulling up because this camera is set to both um, vehicle and human detection. So if a vehicle or a human pulls up into the view of the camera, it will send you an alert message and record um, because there's no parked vehicles in this one. So it's okay that we enable both. Um, and everything is about the same as uh, it was when we had camera three. So I just wanted to show you how to change the camera and, and pull up another playback and you can operate everything the same way. Okay, so now that we've got our video files, we need to see them. So go to the top left again, go to picture and video. Here's all our files. So if I wanna see a picture, I can click on my picture. If I wanna share it, it's at the bottom left. If I wanna download it to my phone, it's the download folder in the middle. 
and allow it to export to your phone. Now it's in my files folder on my phone, on my camera photos. Um, or if I want to go to my video, I can click here and do it and operate everything the exact same way. Um, you can also pull up just your videos or just your photos and that's about it for that section. So we'll go to the top left and now we are looking at alarm notifications. We'll click that. Here's a list of all your alarms. And if I click that video like look and icon right there, it's just going to pull up the video of that alarm. So if you want to just scroll through a list of your alarms, you can do it here instead of using the graph. Um, now if I go to um, the top left here and go to uh, or sorry at the bottom here allow notifications we can click that my notifications are on um, if I don't want my notifications bothering me I can turn them off here or turn them on uh, so if I'm gonna be at home I'll probably turn this off especially if I'm working around the yard or otherwise it's just gonna send me messages constantly uh, however maybe if I'm inside my house I want to keep them on because I want to know if somebody's on my property okay and then device config is the same as the camera settings we went over so if you click here and here you're going to see you the same settings for we already went over and that's about it for your app so you can see it has a lot of good options on it yet it's not complicated to use it's very simple um, anyone can really use this app it's a very powerful app um, i hope you enjoy this video and um, um, looking forward to seeing you on the next video that we make. Thank you. Bye.